Hey, this is Joe Martin from 360 Works. Today, I wanted to show you guys a little demo I put together using Amazon Recognition. Recognition is a uh, baked in machine learning API uh, that Amazon offers that we can make API calls to and sort of take advantage of the, of the machine learning services they've already put in place. Today, we're going to be taking a look at object and scene detection. And just to kind of give you guys an idea, this is sort of what we're going for. We want to, we want to be able to upload an image to Amazon and get back a number of results so that it can kind of tell us what, what's actually in this image. We can see that there's just a, a bunch of cars here and we're, we're also detecting a person in the middle of the street with a skateboard. Um, it's funny, it's also capturing the wheels. Um, and uh, furthermore, it, it can also do uh, scene detection. So even though we're not showing any, any bounding boxes here, we can still tell that this is an urban environment. You know, we're getting some buildings, a uh, high rise. Um, you might notice these are, these are confidence scores here on the right. Basically, how, how sure is the machine learning API that it is what it thinks it is, basically. So it's 99.1% sure that this is an urban environment which is uh, pretty, pretty positive. Um, there's, uh, there's a number of other things that, that recognition can do. Um, it can do facial recognition. It can detect faces in, in a photo. And um, so let's see. It's kind of weird how it does the dots. But uh, and we're, you know, we're also getting you know, uh, confidence scores and age range, which is, which is kind of interesting. Um, so an another one that I'm hoping to do soon is, uh, is, is getting, extracting text from an image, you know, what, what do we, um, if, if we could feed it in an image and have it sort of dynamically pull out the text, uh, I think that could be pretty useful. Even, it's even picking up this kind of difference in font and this one, this is a, a, a much more cursive style here. Um, so, so yeah, this that 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 that's kind of the overview. If you want to uh, getting a little bit more down to details, the the request object here is actually fairly simple. All we need to do is provide Amazon with an image. Um, and you know what? This is actually incorrect. But we're not going to be. Uh, you, you optionally you can upload the image to an S3 bucket first, and then have Amazon pull from an S3 bucket pack, but we're actually going to be uploading the image encoded as base64 data, so we don't have to, you know, do this first step of uploading the image and then providing an image bucket pack and then going back and likely deleting the image after we're done. So we're going to skip all that. Um, and uh, so once we, once, we, once we tell Amazon what, what image we want to analyze, Amazon returns a big JSON object full of basically all of the all of the objects and scenes it was able to detect in this image. And you can sort of see here we've got, you know, it detects transportation, vehicle. Uh, so some of these do look a little bit different. Like for instance, transportation does not have a does not have a bounding box. And the bounding box sort of is that it's it's this square, this the square around the object that it's detecting. Um, so if we searched for like person in here, here we can see it's on that. Um, so that's the gist of it. You can you can uh, the the actual API documentation is over here. I'll, I'll provide a link to that as well. Um, but if we if we scroll down a little bit, we can look at the request syntax here. I think you know in the example we just saw, we were using an, an S3 object, which which we're actually not going to be doing. We are going to be using this parameter right here, bytes. This will allow us to 
base64 encode a file and send it up as part of our initial request so that we don't have to, you know, like I said, we don't have to upload to S3, point to that S3 object, and then go back and delete it later. Um, max labels and min confidence. Uh, max labels would be, you know, I, if you only want to return if you, if you just don't want a ton of results, you only want like the most the most confident results, or I guess that's really what you'd use main confidence for is don't don't show me anything that is below a certain level of confidence. Um, also, both of these parameters are optional, so you can exclude them and just get back everything, which is kind of what we're what we're going for. Um, and then yeah, this is the the abstracted version of the request. The, I'm sorry, the response. Uh, so we can see, you know, we get our confidence score, any bounding boxes that were detected in the image, the name, and also parents. These these um, uh, objects are sort of hierarchically defined. So like a, a male is a type of person or a Boston Terrier is a type of dog. You'll, you'll see that sometimes in the results. Um, so let's uh, let's 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 look at how we can do this in FileMaker. So um, the uh, it's 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 I mean you saw the you saw the request. It's it's a pretty simple request. Although what I'm doing is I'm actually I'm actually building on uh, all you know Jesse Barnum did did really the, the bulk of the work here by writing these AWS request scripts, which are, which are totally necessary for the, the request, um, the request signing process, which is fairly complex with Amazon. Uh, he has some videos, uh, going into that if you, if you're, if you're curious, but I mean, for the most part, we're, 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 we don't really need to know how it works because it just works. So, uh, this script right here is what we're more interested in recognition, get labels. Um, now, the one thing that you'll need to do to get this to work is to supply your own AWS access key and AWS secret key. Uh, these, are, these are mine right now, and, and they won't work um, after I disable them. But uh, so you, you, can, you can view more, view, view how to set those up with this, this link I've provided in the documentation. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're right here. We're you know if you were going to integrate this into your own file, you'd want to modify this line as well. But because here is the line where we base 64 encode the image we want to send up to Amazon, um, and then kind of going down this script, you'll see you can kind of click into here. These are these are um, these are elements that are needed for every AWS call. The access key, secret key region, and uh, most most AWS calls are going to go over HTTPS. Um, and then here's where we set up the. Um, this is the actual request. This is the actual post that we're making to Amazon. You know, we're in, inside of the image dot bytes parameter. We're going to be passing our base sixty four data. And so you can see, I mean, we're just we're just doing we're doing this one and this one, and that's all we need. Um, there aren't any curl options. The, uh, the these are these are sort of boilerplate stuff for for the recognition services. Uh, sometimes these can be a little tricky to figure out. So I've already. You know, I already went and did that for you here, but basically the the host is going to be recognition recognition.use-1.amazonaws.com. Um, there, our region is the same there. The service name is recognition, um, and then yeah, we're we're doing HTTPS here as well. The service name. This is this is the. Um, this kind of tells Amazon which 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 service are we triggering here, and we want to do the detect labels API call. 
which is going to give us back that object and scene detection information. Um, and then the rest of this stuff is really just sort of standard until we come to here, um, where we actually, this is, this is what we call Jesse's script with our constructed post data. And we, we uh, get the result back from that. And um, here I'm just sort of parsing through the result. If, if we detect a, a, an element that is underscore underscore type, uh, you, you kind of know that there's been an error in that case. So I'm just doing some really minimal error handling here. Uh, I'm just going to put, you know, stitch the exception and error message together and show those in a custom dialog. After that, we're going to store the results in a field. And um, I'm setting a global variable here to the result because that, that's, actually, that's actually driving this virtual value list portal that I'm using to display the uh, the results and the confidence score, stuff like that. It's, which is, you know, you, you could go in a completely different direction. I, I imagine most people would actually probably want to store that stuff permanently um, for each image so that you could go back and, and search it reliably. Um, and then, yeah, we just sort of refresh our results and that's it. So yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's see it in action. Um, pardon me while I go pull up another picture. Oh, this is a good one. So I'm just going to create a new record, drag my image in, and then hit detect labels. And that's it. We can, it's cool. You can see, we can see, you know, obviously it's, it's picking up that we've got a person here. We've got a suit here. Um, if uh, it looks like my, sometimes these boxes don't stock perfectly, but you can see that it's also picking up a necktie, a, you know, a shirt performer. That's kind of funny, but yeah, tie, suit, overcoat. And then here are some of the, here are some of the parent objects, you know, coat is a type of clothing, necktie is a type of tie, um, photography is a type of person. I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> Our confidence is, is a little bit low on that. So, um, and um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, I'm giving uh, we're we're giving away this demo, so hopefully you guys can uh, play around with it, have some fun on your own. I think it's really cool what what uh, you can do with recognition. And I hope to have a follow up on this soon where we're doing, you know, either text recognition or facial recognition uh, in the near future. OK, thanks, guys. Hey, guys, before I go, I wanted to point out some of the issues or, or really just one issue in particular that I ran into. Um, some of the photos taken with my iPhone were rejected by Amazon. And I can sort of demo that here. I have got a picture of some mushrooms here, and I wanted to see what Amazon thought. Um, and I got back this error message, invalid image format exception. As it turns out, there's a small percentage of iPhone photos that actually are slightly corrupt in some way. Maybe it's like an invalid JPEG header or, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what the cause is, but when I tried to send these up to Amazon, we get, we get back um, we get back this error message. I, I just wanted to make you guys aware it, it could it could likely be resolved by retaking the photo, or probably by editing it, opening it in some photo editing programming and, and, and resaving it to kind of clear the corruption out. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know in case you were getting images that 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 seemed to be broken. On a lighter note, I think it's absolutely hilarious when recognition is just just sort of gets it wrong. Uh, in this case, we've got a picture with two dogs here, and recognition is almost positive that this is a penguin. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.